think I agreed to put the sum of $50,000 by way of promoting. The rest is history. It started at the Wadsworth Athenaeum with a big bang, you know, huge festivities around it. Amos, how did you feel when you first walked into the museum and saw all of your paintings displayed like this? <laughs> it is incredible to me. It, it, it makes my eyes feel like, like a bloom pass over. It is a mirror. Man, I think you're blessed, man. I hate to use the word lucky. We love your world. We love the, your world, and your whole world is here on these walls. It was such an exciting time, and B was at his side. He was just beaming, although you didn't see him smile so much, but beaming inside, you know. It was a phenomenal experience. And then, of course, you know, we returned to New York. The first people that came out of the plane were Amos and B. And they take one look, seeing people waiting in line, and they think it's for them. So, in a split decision, he takes one side, she takes the other side, and they shake everybody's hands. <laughs> we took them to the musical Dreamgirls. They were totally, totally absorbed. And they would sing along, they would get up in a black church where people get really involved. And so that's what they did in the musical. I took them to the Metropolitan Museum. People kept looking at him and turning around, and finally somebody came and said, aren't you this artist from the Bahamas? And Amos said, yes. <laughs> like, you know, yes, I am the star. I took him and B to Chicago when the exhibition went to Chicago. And he was celebrated. He got the key to the city. They made a big fuss, you know, there was a bus taking us all over, sightseeing Chicago. He had the limousine service, he had the whole butler service. I mean, he was well respected, people bowed to him. You know, he was, he was the master. I mean, it was wonderful and he was like, yeah, that was his doom.